Hey guys, it's Taza. Um Actually, I wanted to make a live stream today, but that didn't really work, so I will make a tutorial now. Um, this one will be on nice effect with that you can put images or text on your scope, maybe an eye as a as a reflection or yeah. In this case, I will use a skull like in the edit I uploaded a few days ago. If you haven't seen it then check it out and yeah so I will put the um, skull image on the uh, in the description so that you guys can download it so first of all when you have your clip you have to um, yeah slow mo the part when you scope in so let's just go to this frame and add some trickster Change the frame rate to 59.94 or whatever your frame rate is, and change the time remapping mode to uh, the frame inter inter was whatever <laughs> to uh, motion weighted blend. <coughs> oh, you don't have to do that. That's just what I do, and yeah. Then go to the speed and make a keyframe. Go forward five frames, and change it to two. So then go forward a few frames again. Let's say here. Go to your output control. Make a keyframe. Go forward five frames. And let's set it back to 100. And then it's normal speed again. So it's normal speed, then it goes slow motion. And then it gets normal speed again. So, yeah, then <coughs> we will uh, put our skull image in, scale that, do that down. You have to um, press shift to so that it keeps the right size. Um, yeah, wait, then go to your effects, to trickster, and see where your slow motion starts. Um, okay, this starts here. And then go to your skull, put it in the middle of the scope, but make it a bit smaller than you want it to be. Because um, now we will add effects, um, the source, and then sphere rise. Then change the radius to yeah something like. 300 let's say yeah 500 uh, because then it looks more realistic then you can add some Gaussian blur and change that to 15 or something uh, let's say 20 um, then you press T uh, select your select the skull press T for opacity and bring it down to 0 make a keyframe then press P for position make a keyframe press S for scale and make a keyframe so then go to the frame where your slow motion is at 2% um, press D for opacity bring the opacity up to let's say 30 and um, then go to P for position and bring it in the middle again and then you can just scale it up again but don't forget to press shift while back to the middle and now you can go back a frame bring it bring it back to the middle then back back to the middle back back to the middle and back so yeah that's basically it now you go to the spot where your slow motion stops um, change the scale again don't forget to press shift so and then bring the opacity down to 25 then go forward a few frames yeah, to the frame where your slow motion is completely over Bring the skull back to the middle, scale it back, and 
<clears throat> change the opacity to zero or you could just set it to like 10 now let's just set it to zero okay um then you have to yeah that spot you uh, go back a frame again select your skull bring it back to the middle frame back back to the middle frame back back to the middle frame back back to the middle and yeah so um okay that looks quite good um but um so in the middle where your slow motion is you can go to the frame like between the spots where your slow motion starts and your slow motion ends and fix the position of the skull if if it's not at the right spot so then it should fit perfectly on the time and yeah it always looks better if you add a color correction so uh, don't worry if you think it doesn't look that good uh, I will just add some random shit now maybe this okay looks shit but yeah um, let me just preview this so yeah that's basically it and by the way guys I uh, made another tutorial but I think the sub boxes failed so um, if you have seen my like the cinematic thing um, yeah, in the tutorial I explained how to make the particles um, don't worry I will make another tutorial for the text and the other stuff uh, when I have the time so yeah sh that's the tutorial and please check that out even if you have seen it it would be cool if you could watch it again because I want like 1k views on my videos because yeah I have 8000 subscribers and yeah that would be cool so I will just preview that okay I won't preview the whole thing now because I think you can you know what it looks like and yeah please like the video and bye